Hello, I wanted to paint a picture and tell a story uh, that would represent um, your selection of self within, um, within the propagation of yourself into the new unity and the new paradigm consciousness that we are getting ready to experience. And so if you imagine yourself um, sitting in a rowboat, um, as a captain of your ship, as a captain of your rowboat, um, and then the lake that the boat sits on represents the unified feel of existence that um, ebbs and flows around us, right? Um, the lake as a whole is the possibility of everything that you hold within your selection, within your field of um, comprehension that you could experience at any one moment. And so imagine the number of drops of water that exists within any one lake, regardless of its size, would represent the number of possibilities, the number of nuances um, that could exist into the infinite field of potential that you would hold at any one moment, really at any one set of selections. Um, and then as you're rowing this boat out from the shore, right, you find yourself in the middle of the lake. There, you're being, right, being part of this unified consciousness that is you um, as, a, as a sovereign um, being with, within the space of infinite potential. You have a choice um, or you have a selection of where you choose to row your boat. Where will you choose to, to guide your ship or to guide your experiences of life? And now imagine that this lake has, you know, dozens and dozens of docks all around, right? And each dock, you know, comes out and allows a very easy docking of your rowboat to it. And then that path leads you in, or leads you forth into an experience. Uh, it leads you forth into the selection of self, or the selection of the outcome that you would choose. And so as you're sitting, in the infinite potential, right? The water itself holds the infinite potential. Um, you're safe in the boat. So the boat, the rowboat represents your sovereignty, right? Your, your belonging to the infinite and being one with the infinite, but at the same time being the captain or being one in charge of your ship. Um, and then as you, as you row, as you put in the effort, that represents your selection of self, right? What, what selection of being will you choose to dog your boat to? Um, and so within the decision of rowing into a specific direction, uh, you, would, you would cognitively um, discern or choose the outcomes that suit your need, right? Which dock out there looks the best for you, right? Which, which direction where you go, where do you want to go? which flower fields or trees or houses or, you know, people in the dock call your attention, right? And so in that decision of where will you be rowing your boat, you have a selection or you have a designation um, of your personal sovereign choice. And so that sovereign choice um, then leads you into your path of life. And the path of life is represented by the dock that you choose to um, anchor your boat into. And so realizing that you can walk off the dock and walk into a path of life um, and, and then take that sovereign decision into your life, right? So the, the land or the experiences off of this dock or on this dock or around this dock would represent your cognitive choice and what you're choosing to involve with. But then at the same time, you cognitively have infinite potential and inf infinite awareness to the fact that you can at any point walk back to the edge of the dock, sit back into your boat, and choose to row yourself away from any experience, right? Which would basically represent removing your energetic self or removing um, your decision and choosing sovereignty into a different space of being or a different 
selection of self. And then you would row your boat away from the dock, right? From the experience of choice. Uh, and then once again, row yourself in the middle um, or possibly just right as you row yourself out, you, you know, immediately recognize or see the other dock, right? And so once again, you could choose that dock, row your boat to it, and then select and dive into those experiences. But at all times, you have a choice to come in, experience, and come back out into the boat. And once again, um, cognitively choose what possibility of experiences you will have. One, that represents the lake. And then two, each jock represents your attachment in the th three-dimensional space, right? But at all times, realize that it is important uh, and it is also the essence of you um, that stays at all times connected and consciously aware of the dock as your way in to the unity consciousness that is the lake, right? The, 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 the possibility of all uh, and the possibility of everything that you have to experience. Um, and then the three-dimensional experience of you as a human being is then represented by you leaving um, your boat and then docking you know, to a specific outcome. Uh, but in fact, still being part um, of the, the whole because your boat at all times sits uh, and you have easy access uh, into that being, right? Into that direction, into that connection to your truth. And so the, the narrative here or the parable here is we are at all times connected to the infinite potential of us as infinite beings, right? We, we are always choosing and always selecting from the infinite potential of outcomes the choice that we want to bring forth. And so as, as those concepts, as these energies are becoming part of you as you're watching this video, um, it is important to recognize that you will now be functioning in this, in this space of recognition of your higher self, recognition of your connection to the unity or being, in fact, one with the unified field. And at the same time, um, observing or looking yourself as a being who chooses to row its bow to a specific dock, have an experience, but then at the same time come back home um, to, to the, the infinite potential thereof. And so there's a, a lot of layers and, and a lot of nuances that you can take into this developmental structure. Um, what will you choose to have as your experience, right? What will you choose to uh, derive out of that experience, right? When will you choose to leave one experience and trade it for the outcome of another? Or do you simply derive peace from being in the center of the lake, bathing yourself in the unified consciousness of possibilities and observing your your out, uh, flu fluid outcomes and flows of life um, and not necessarily diving in all that deep into any one dock um, or, or in you, into any one experience, right? So the, the extension thereof, you know, how deep do you walk off the dock or do you stay on the edge and just kind of observe the world from the outside? So all of those things are your interpretation of your reality, being able to uh, cognitively recognize that now you will be functioning uh, from the observer standpoint of self, observing your three-dimensional experiences, um, from the the captain of the ship standpoint of self, where you are uh, selecting the experiences that you will be diving into, uh, and then uh, one you know one step higher, uh, just for the sake of this particular message, is is just staying in the unified consciousness, realizing the potential of all experiences. And so it, the, the, the infinite propagation of those stages of life, or stages of existence, um, actually propagate much deeper and have a lot more nuances. But for the sake of your initial start of interpretation of what it means to be the new you, and this, this what seems to be new capability of watching yourself um, and then your choices, and then and then realizing your ability to control the choices and the ability to select the outcomes is is kind of the new the new propagation of self. And so that lake metaphor 
um, is a great way for you to start to understand. Um, now, as you develop, the lake metaphor will uh, will grow and nuance and self, uh, and you can see different aspects of your interpretations within uh, the process of rowing, the process of stepping, within the process of walking uh, off the deck, walking to the right, walking to the left, or just simply being in the center and what exists in that center. Um, but, you know, as we work with that um, currently, that is enough for you to kind of get the gist of what uh, you will be and are experiencing right now um, as you're watching this video and is and you're interpreting yourself in kind of this new way that could potentially be confusing, but um, in fact, you know, basically can be described um, in this very simple way of being. So um, thank you for watching and uh, happy rowing.